I think people equate so, uh, sodium and water uh, retention with fat. I think there's this, this, this like in, in people's minds, they think that it's the same. You know, I was just talking to a, a, a good, an ex client of mine who, might, who seems to be becoming a, a, a new client of mine again. And he was having trouble, uh, you know, losing weight. And we were going over some of the pitfalls of like his, of the diet he was following. And one of the things that was interesting is that a lot of these companies, there's two deceptive ways of, of, of marketing fat burners on the market. And it's because people want to see results right away. One of them is put a ton of stimulants in your fat burner, right? And you, wow, holy, I feel it. This thing must be burning fat, right? Because I'm racing, you know, from all the stimulants in it. The other way, which is a little more deceptive, is put an herbal diuretic in your fat burner. Put something like, you know, dandelion or uva ursi in there. And guess what happens? You, you, you pee a lot. And when you pee a lot because you're getting rid of water, because these herbal diuretics work, you lose weight on the scale, but you're really not lo losing body fat. So people think, wow, this fat burn is working. I started taking it and I lost, you know, five, six pounds. Well, you're, now you're walking around dehydrated and you feel like you have a hangover. You got a headache all the time. So water retention is not the same as fat loss. So anyone who restricts sodium their entire diet or takes these herbal diuretics on a daily basis, because some people take them purposely, they even know. They're like, I'm taking this, this watershed pill. I'm like, why are you taking this? How are you training dehydrate? I, yeah, I feel I always have a headache. And water doesn't mean, water's your friend. Believe me, hydration is your friend while you're training because you want the muscles to be well hydrated. That keeps them in an anabolic state. Likewise, you don't want to be taking something that sensitizes you to water you know, retention. Because let's say, if you take a diuretic, your body's gonna always think there's not enough sodium and water around, so it's gonna make, it's gonna raise aldosterone levels. And the aldosterone is the hormone that makes your body retain fluids so and sodium. You don't want high aldosterone while you're dieting, because at the very end, when you have to dry out, you're not gonna be able to. So you don't wanna restrict sodium in your diet ever, okay? And you don't want to take herbal diuretics on a regular basis. You know, um, that's why when I formulated Lipolize, my uh, non-stimulant-based fat burner, there's no stims and there's no, and there's no herbal diuretics. I could have put that in there. They would, people would have loved it. But I, I didn't do it because that's not the way you burn fat. You want to try to interrupt appetite and you want to try to, you know, trick the body into, into wasting uh, energy as heat. That's the best way to burn fat. And that's, what I, that's how I embrace that. But I think people have this misconception. I remember one of my first shows, I was backstage, and this guy's breath was, you could have knocked you over. And I don't even know how he got into talking about it. And, and, and he's like, uh, he goes, yeah, I haven't, had, I haven't had any sodium for like, you know, for like six weeks or something like that. I'm like, what? He's like, yeah, I didn't even brush my teeth this morning. I said, I, I and so at that point, I couldn't keep my mouth I'm like, yeah, I can tell. And he's like, oh, my breath, yeah, I feel bad. I said, why did you brush your teeth? He goes, oh, sodium fluoride is in there. I said, do you know how much, much sodium is in sodium fluoride? You probably couldn't even measure it. I said, it's so small. So people do kooky things, you know. They think that sodium is, is, is going to make them, you know, not look good. But sodium is your best friend. Matter of fact, I don't even cut sodium until the last day. And a lot of times I keep it in because it's too much. When you, when you, when you feed someone sodium all the time and they eat a lot of salt throughout their diet, you pull sodium for one day and it's almost, they lose so much water so quickly, it's almost too much. So the, the bottom line and take home message is sodium and water are not fat. Don't confuse them. Don't restrict them.